Artificial intelligence is increasingly part of our global society. And often it's used to spread misinformation or to monitor what we do online. But what if artificial intelligence could be used for something good, for promoting peace, to helping reconciliation between conflicting groups? What if we had a way of creating entire artificial societies, a kind of digital twin that represents our life together, a virtual laboratory in which we could explore the tensions that rise and discover the tipping points that cause conflict among groups? I'm a professor in the social science faculty here at the University of Agder, part of an international network of scientists who use artificial intelligence in order to create virtual worlds in which individuals and groups interact. Let me show you. With multi-agent artificial intelligence modeling, we can create entire artificial societies filled with individuals who have different ideological beliefs, political attitudes, or religious identities. We can explore scenarios in a way that would be impossible or unethical in the real world. Say, for example, when a group of refugees comes into a new country. Under what conditions do the people become polarized or suddenly come into conflict? Or, we can study how violent extremism emerges in different kinds of contexts around the world. This enables us to study the tipping points at which conflict or that extremism might emerge in order to predict it before it happens in the real world. The outcome of these models are relevant for policymakers, politicians, international organizations, really for anyone who's interested in using the power of AI in order to understand and solve the societal challenges facing our world. By combining social science and artificial intelligence, we can learn from the past and predict the future for the common good. <laughs>